Hello everyone, Marianne from Revealing Light. I nearly said religious light. Ooh, no. <laughs> okay, Marianne from Revealing Light, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. That's where we are here. We uh, we don't uh, have dogma. We just uh, understand that there is a light force. And that light force is within us and without, around us. And when we tap into it, it's very powerful. Okay, so tarot scopes for earth signs for the month of July. July 2022. So we will look at Capricorn. Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo in this reading. I don't do personal readings. Anyone approaching you, please report. Report them, block them. They're hitting a lot of clairvoyance. You know, just get rid of them. Uh, and don't fall for their scams. They are scammers. They're pretending to be me. They're pretending to be other psychics. And they're hitting them up for readings or money or in some way. It's a scam. They're always particularly active around my tarot scopes time because they stupidly think that you're going to fall for their scams. I monitor just for those scammers out there listening. I monitor my comments very, very closely um, and very, you know, I'm on it. So you're not going to last very long out there. You're wasting your time. Okay, tarot scopes. Let's go to be, be alert but not alarmed. All right. And I'm not on WhatsApp. They generally use that dirty, disgusting Zuckerberg platform WhatsApp. They hit Instagram frequently as well. I've got a locked account on Instagram. And then I go and do, you know, make sure people are legit before I grant them access to my Instagram account. Okay, so let's get started. It's tiresome, but it's the reality. Unless I turn off my comments, it's the reality. And I don't want to do that. Okay. If enough of you were being scammed and falling for it, yes, I would turn off my comments. But I think we can manage it at the moment through these type of announcements. Okay. Let's move into the Capricornian energy. I'm using my Mystical Shaman Oracle, the Rider Weight, and I've also got the Toth deck as well. Okay. All right. Let's... Get started, go into the Capricornian energy straight away. I'm seeing the Two of Swords. Have you a decision to make in July? Show me what's coming up for Capricorn, please. The overarching energy, July 2022. So we have here the Earth. Well, that's your that's your card, isn't it? Capricorn, Earth signs. The Earth is going to be very... Uh, Grounding, being out in nature, uh, putting your feet on the ground, um, enjoying the bounties of Earth that Earth offers us is going to be very, very important. Uh, I think there's a strength that I'm bringing forward in this card, a strength here in in that those grounding processes that I think Earth signs do anyway. Uh, it's it's what. It's what is in their nature to be connected. And I do feel that there's some kind of trust here that's coming forward. Trust, maybe you have to make a decision. There's trust here. But it's like you see the reality. It's like being very, very grounded in reality for Capricornians. Uh, and you're also drawing on past um, past lessons as well. You're really unflappable. In July around a decision, I feel. Uh, Pachamama. Okay, so that's beautiful. Um, that's, you know, for some mothers, for women, there could be decisions coming up. But it's like it's like trusting the third eye here. Trusting that, that knowledge. I'm, I, I'm speaking to both male and female. This isn't gender uh, exclusive here. Rather, it's inclusive, whether you're a male or a female. Capricornians will be channeling, if you like, through that third eye, this realistic vision that they will bring to all their decisions, big and small, in July. The mystical shaman, okay, 38. You know, shamans work with the earth energies every, you know, so pay attention, the mystical shaman. 
these are very, very, very specific, very specific cards for Capricorn in July, that there is some sort of um, process that you're going through, almost like a shamanic process. Listen, listen to what's around you. Become your own mystical shaman here. Channel that earth energy that runs so abundantly for you. Draw on that earth energy intuition here. The journey and the beauty way. This is trust when all else fails. Capricornians can trust. Trust in themselves. The drum messages. The hunter mobilization. Some of you are going to be making that decision, as I said, and mobilizing in some way in July. And you're bringing your strength to it, as Capricornians do. Let's have a bit of a uh, more detailed look through the Rider Waite, please, for Capricorns. Capricornians in July. Capricornians in July 2020. What's coming up for Capricornians in July 2020? Capricornians in July 2020. Okay, so we've got here the Queen of Pentacles. I'm just drawing your energy big time. Earth energy, stability, domestic. This decision could be around your home. You know, are you are you thinking about moving? Is there something that's coming in that you need to decide upon that really the decision will be for de de for stability? Um, yeah, I do feel Capricorns uh, need to be very grounded in July. Seven of Cups talks about choices, making choices. You'll make those choices for in, in a realistic kind of way, a very earth-grounded way. No illusion or delusion. Don't let it even enter into the equation. Yeah, the devil. So there's, for some Capricornians, I mean, well, this is your card, there is some kind of um, situation I feel that it's, 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 not, it's not, the devil is like a toxic energy that you need to move through, uh, whether you, whatever you're chained to, uh, you'll be freeing. The decision comes up to free yourself from it. Now, whether that's work, a relationship, I don't know what your specific situation is here, but you'll be moving toward uh, toward being free in some way of this situation. For some of you, this could be finances as well. Could be putting st putting financial uh, resources away. Some of you could be budgeting. Uh, to, to put m more money aside here and you have to make pretty hard choices about that budget. Uh, the Six of Pentacles, this could be loans and debts in the past, helping others. Uh, you could, I could literally be talking about a debt at the bank and having to restructure that loan. Um, in some way you're mobilising, mobilising to even what, to even the scales for you. Um, the strength is here. I mean, this is Leo energy, fire energy, but it's the strength here. Potentially, you're in a strong position in July. Uh, the king of wands in the immediate future. You're going to step into a leadership position, Capricorn, in July. Whether this is leadership in your family situations, leadership in your work, leadership in your community, you're being called upon to lead. You will answer that call. If you've been hidden away. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, if you've not been wanting to step forward, guess what? You make the move in July. You leave what no longer serves you. You could be working with others. Uh, this is beautiful energy here, working in teams, bringing your expertise into the mix. The hopes and fears, you know, you don't want to step up again to have the same result, but you've got everything within you. To make the to to ensure that past lessons aren't repeated in this situation, King of Cups, emotional wisdom. So for some of you, this is an emotional situation, an emotional thing you've been tied to. You move forward with strength and emotional wisdom, and that guarantees your victory. 
in relation to whatever this situation that has you chained, whatever this decision is for you in July, you use your emotional intelligence, you make that decision and uh, it could even be putting a hand out in reunification for some, for some reunification with someone you've been estranged, estranged to or with. You've got, you, you put yourself in a very beneficial position in July. Okay, let's move to Taurus. I mean, that's why we like our Capricorns, don't we? Because they can do that. All right, they have that gift. All right, let's uh, move toward uh, Taurus energy. Taurus is the fixed sign in the mix. Uh, Ca Capricorn is cardinal. Taurians fixed. They stay there. They stay there for the duration. They make sure the wood is put on the fire. They gather the wood. They do the work for the longer term. And we've got Virgo going with the flow, assessing the situation and coming up with solutions. But Taurus, what's happening for Taurus, please? Taurus, Taurus in the month of July. What's happening for Taurus in the month of July? So we have here magic. Wow. Uh, I feel this is earth magic. I think... Um, you know, 33 is a master communication number. Uh, I think if you can spend time outdoors, Taurus, it just restores you, it replenishes you. But there's magic happening in your life in July and it could come through uh, communications of all sorts, emails, phone calls, the rattle. The rattle, that's incredible. That is incredible. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I watched a, a tarascope from San, San Taro. She's a very good reader. She talked about a hand holding that rattle. When I picked that card up, I saw the hand. In actual fact, it's feathers. But I did it twice and I saw the hand holding the rattle. So for those of you who may not have um, heard of her, you can, S-A-N, San Taro, you can go and find her. But she was reading on Sagittarius, so I watch her for my Sagittarian reading. You, uh, Taurians might want to watch that because of that. Um, now, that hand on that tarot that I saw with my eye, oh, my goodness me. I'm just, someone is holding this rattle. Someone's directing you. Uh, someone's helping you. Someone's guiding you toward a particular direction, toward a particular vision of the way that you see the world. There. Now, that now I'm interpreting interpret interpreting that and this is connected to this magic this magic card here 33 communications this is connected to your own communication Taurus to your own voice the magic that lies within your voice you're being directed space is being created because that's what the rattle does creates the space for the change to occur and we have here the holy mountain this is a, a, around your self-worth, Taurus. I know I do deep dives with you every month. Um, I'm sorry <laughs> that it goes that way. But it's like the pilgrimage. It's like you finally get to the summit, to the freedom that your voice can bring you. And we have here the spiral energy. Uh, spiral is about change. The spiral is about changing timelines and frequencies. And I think you've done that in the past. Uh, these, are power these are powerful readings. The rainbow card here. The rainbow card. The rainbow talks about miracles. Happiness. Balancing for me. Balancing of the chakras. That's what's on offer. Foundational balancing like a... Like those lower base chakras become balanced in some way. Lower base chakras talk to me about expression as well. The sacral chakra expression. There's something around communication. And, and this is really weird because Santaro pulled a lot of these cards, same cards for Sagittarius. If your moon is in Sagittarius, Taurus, go and look out, look at that reading. The Hummingbird talks about work, quickening, a quickening of some description. 
a movement change is rapid for you in July. I'm just going to pull a full oracle spread for you. The sorcerer. It's To me, this is like the shaman. This is magic. This is like the magic card. Someone even waving a feather, clearing your space. There's a lot of negativity moving away from you in July, Taurus. And the heart of the sky rediscovering your emotional wisdom, rediscovering your emotional strength, rediscovering your emotional sight your emotional sight something gives way for you in july taurus it allows you to go above to look at things from above almost like you are in the sky that's what heart sight heart feeling heart power gives us wow these are massive transformations for you in july taurus it's spiritual transformation. Hopes and fears we have stand still. Oh, it has failed in the past. Will it succeed in the future? It doesn't really matter. You're at peace with whatever happens in July. Because why? Because you're sitting atop of that holy mountain now. And you know it. Let's see what the outcome, the coyote, quickness, smartness. You are overcoming through sheer cunning what has been stopping you speaking, what has been stopping you using your voice, Taurus. You now see. And in a way, you understand what the sacrifice has all been about. Base of the pack, mystical shaman. You are attaining that earthly shamanic wisdom. I'm just going to leave it there, Taurus. That's your reading for July. Very spiritual reading. Right, 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 right. Okay, where we're we going now? We're going to go to Virgo. And because of those cards were so powerful, I'm actually going to go to the Toth uh, deck for Virgo, something something uh, new for Virgos. Virgo in July. Virgo in July. Wow. Virgo in July. Can you show me Virgo in July? Virgo, okay, so... Virgo is now uh, looking at the detail of the house plan and finding ways to improve it, finding uh, ways th that we haven't really even thought about. That's what going with the flow does, takes us to new destinations. What's happening? Overarching energy for Virgos. Overarching energies for Virgos in July. We have here change. There's a decision in July for you. Um, could be even around money. I know we're all doing it tough. Virgo knows that too. Uh, you're going to be looking for ways to save money. Uh, you're going to be making decisions around money. Um, and we've got the Ace of Cups. It's not a, an onerous decision for you. Um, it's just... In a way, I guess Virgos are really good budgeters. Uh, in a way, because they see that detail. Uh, in a way, you're quite comfortable with doing this. So um, this is also for other Virgoans, uh, some kind of decision around letting something go. You make the decision to let something go in the past that's bothered, bothered you. And as a result, there's a new emotional, uh, a new emotional start for you. Yeah, the death card. You're letting go of something in the really at the foundation of the reading. You're letting go of something in the past. It's really a full let. It's a full ending of something in the past. You may have moved toward toward ending something that bothered you. That it's a long-standing situation, 
But finally, you put it to bed once and for all because now you've got the Ace of Cups here. Whatever that emotional situation was for, for you, Virgo, could have been uh, a bit of a tug of war going on within you. You put it to bed finally. Now, we have the Ten of Cups in the past. It could have even been relating to family, community, work place relation close relationships of some sort you put them to bed you put that situation to bed you make the decision we've got the nine of cups as a result you move into this nine of cups energy or the potential is to move into this nine of cups energy this is around a wish fulfillment happiness so the three of pentacles you're no longer working on your own you're working with others and you're bringing your expertise here to work with others on a common dream, a common project. The moon card in the here and now. There's a lot coming up from the surface, from the under under the under the surface for you. The moon card talks about the soul, talks about the emotions. You're just nutting this situation out. It's like you're nutting your life out. Um and we have the lovers, close relationships is the environment around here. Those in your circle that you love. Love and respect. It's like you're working on relationships in July. Seven of Pentacles. This is review. It's in the hopes and fears though. It's like it failed. This is common in the earth signs. It failed in the past for me. Is it going to fail in the future? The outcome card is the sun. No, it's not going to. It's going to work. It's going to bring you... There's great happiness. You know, I have to read the cards. Happiness and abundance. Wow, on offer for you. And fortune. Oh, my goodness me. I don't... You know, Princess of Dicks... D D Dex, sorry. You've got some fortune coming to you. I know why I had that Freudian slip. I was talking about dictators the other day. <laughs> the you know, lots of places in the world where you've got authority, authoritarian leaders. And I call them dictators. Dictators. Okay, so maybe that's relevant to you in some way. That you're, you don't want to be a dictator in any way. You're letting that part of you go if, if you have been, um, in that, you know, Virgos do take responsibility. But they need to be a bit careful around uh, going overboard with it. You are, after all, a mutable sign. You do, after all, go with the flow. You let go of something. You're on board with it now in July. And look what happens as a result. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Happiness. No greater energy than that sun. That sun lights up our birth chart through our sun sign you're feeling in your element in July and we've got the empress card abundance and the wheel of fortune I mean I gotta read it as I see it you're very fortunate in July you're very happy happiness is on offer and in some way things go for you according to plan According to the plans maybe you made centuries ago, made decades ago, something comes to you. Luck and fortune in some way comes to you, which really brings you happiness. I love this energy for you in July. I'm going to just leave it there. Earth signs. It's a good month in some way, big or small. Four Earth signs in July. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bye for now.